Johnny! Hello, I'm Mark Fell. I'm one of the science and sport embedded nutritionists within NES Grenadiers cycling team. So on a normal day, uh, within a, a stage race or a grand tour, uh, I'll typically come down to the kitchen truck uh, early before the riders will arrive. This is where the riders will come to eat all their, their meals on the race. Uh, and then I'll come down and sort of check in firstly with the chef, just to make sure we're sort of set up and plan for the rest of the day. Mainly just to make sure, yeah, we have the menus in place that meet the requirements for the different types of stages. You know, we could uh, have sort of like a high core base soup. Okay. Potato based. Uh, sweet potato, sweet corn, those kind of vibes. Yeah, lovely. Even speak with the guys at breakfast, see see what they yeah what they fancy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We we'll see how the stage the, the stage well. goes whether. We need a super, super high car, but we're yeah. Next, yeah. tweak it depending on the yeah. expenditure. And then riders will start to arrive down. Uh, to come down firstly and have their breakfast and sort of just check in with them to make sure everything's okay. They'll all sort of have their individual nutrition plan uh, and just to make sure they're uh, comfortable with uh, what we're prescribing for them for each each day uh, and. Yeah, just sort of make sure that they have, have what they need uh, ahead of the, the stage. Yeah, today's the, the start to a 21 long uh, day race. But yeah, I think I feel quite good, slept well. Uh, and yeah, I'm just ready to get stuck in. Uh, people talk about like how special the atmosphere is here with the fans uh, here in Italy. So I think, yeah, maybe this, uh, seeing everyone cheering us on. So I think today is quite a a unique stage, obviously it's the first stage of the Grand Tour or the Giro, so firstly guys will be uh, quite nervous ahead of, ahead of the race as well, which means it could be quite a tense racing and the type of stage it is where there's a lot of different factors, it's quite hilly. Really the purpose of fueling with riders today is to make sure that they're sort of increasing their carbohydrate intake to make sure they're well, well fueled ahead of this race. Uh, and then really when they're on the bike then we'll be prescribing yeah, high amounts of carbohydrates, uh, anywhere from yeah, 90, 90 grams per hour and, and even slightly higher for a stage like today. Um, and then we'll sort of coordinate that uh, through extra feeds and what, what they take from the start, just to make sure they're covered. The first extra feed of the stage. Um, so it's really just providing a couple of different drink options for the riders. Uh, and some top-up food for the guys as well. Yeah, so in these musettes we have a Sant and Sport Go Energy Bake, uh, tiramisu flavour, as we're in Italy, as well as some uh, sort of rice crispy type uh, bars, where we have different flavours as well. So as you can see with these musettes, it's more solid based foods for the first feed. Uh, given there's more opportunity for the riders to feed on the bike and it's uh, just something a bit different than uh, gels. Uh, and we have three different drinks. So we have uh, one's just water, one's 20, 20 grams of carbohydrate and one with 40 grams of carbohydrate. Here in the final uh, extra feed of the stage, yeah, we're just preparing some bidons. There's roughly uh, around 40 kilometers left. So this is the, uh, the last opportunity for them to grab a, a bidon and uh, just uh, we will attach a bead of fuel gel to it, uh, just if they need to help them uh, for the final, because it's probably gonna be gone pretty full gas and they're fighting for position and leading into towards the final. Oh, 
Straight after they cross the finish line, they'll consume the sort of first phase of the recovery plan, which is just a, a high carbohydrate drink to start replenishing their, their carbohydrate stores. Um, they'll also consume a, a regal cherry gel, which is also aimed at trying to promote recovery and reduce muscle soreness. And then they'll ride to the bus where they'll then get their recovery drink, which is uh, a combination of both protein and carbohydrates to promote muscle repair and promote muscle uh, and liver carbohydrate replenishment. Um, and then they'll have some whole foods as well. So a recovery meal where they'll have some rice or pasta, uh, as well as a small protein source, um, like chicken or salmon. So for instance, today is salmon. Um, and that's really the, the sort of recovery steps within this where they it's only a short bus transfer back to the hotel. Um, so then uh, it's just eight stages of the recovery process and then they'll have dinner the other seat way. So straight after the stage, uh, my job really is to start then planning for tomorrow's stage. So I'll start working on uh, nutrition plans for, for each individual rider. So I'll start downloading the data once the, the data has been uploaded from the race in relation until the power meter data, so how much energy they've expended. Then I'll start doing the, the individual plans for each rider, as well as collecting what nutrition they consumed on the bike to then contribute to uh, making the, the individual nutrition plan. Uh, then I'll start preparing the extra feed plan for tomorrow. Uh, so getting the information from the DSs of uh, where the extra feeds are and, and then start putting the plan together for what goes into each extra feed plan.